Welcome to the last episode of our Shortcuts mini-series. So far, we've looked at four important building blocks for your presentation. Today is the last building block. How to master crafts. Looks familiar, am I right? Would be great if all crafts would be so clear. Too often they look like this. So many numbers. They are so small that I can't even read one of them. In fact, you don't need the craft because the message is already in the headline. If you have watched the other episodes of Presentation Shortcuts, you know that such a statement does not belong on the slide, but in the speaker notes, or should only appear after you mentioned it. Why? Because a slide should always underline or visualize your message, not replace it. What would be better? A short headline and highlighting the key numbers only. Much better, actually. Using crafts well is always about supporting your key message. Here, the craft isn't really helping to get it. The five bars all look very similar. This is different. I have highlighted the key message with the corresponding figures. And the arrow also does its part and the headline doesn't give away your key insight. Now you can say, purchasing power has increased significantly in the recent years. It seems that Germans are doing much, much better economically. And now we have a craft that really represents what you are saying. If you use craft in your presentation, be sure to choose the right type of craft. Pie charts are great, but not in every case. Here, the 3D effect distorts the proportions and makes the front pieces to appear much bigger. I always prefer 2D for pie charts, because it's easier to compare the proportions. Putting the legend text next to the series makes visual processing faster and easier. Now adjust the font size and color, even better. And delete the headline, because this is what you say. But we still have a problem. Some pieces are very similar in size. They can hardly be distinguished. It's only possible when you add the values. Going for column or bar chart would solve this problem. Better, isn't it? Even more helpful when it comes to comparing market shares, present them sorted by value rather than by subject. If you have a specific design in your presentation, you can also adjust the graphs accordingly. Now that we have the individual values, we can get rid of those lines and the axis. The simpler and less cluttered the graph, the faster it will be processed and remembered. Reduce to the max. Let's say you are responsible for this brand and you want to illustrate where you stand versus competition. You can either highlight your brand like this or much better like this. Last example, another bar chart. In this case, however, switching from bars to lines makes the message clearer. We have been ahead of competition since August. Same again, get rid of the axis and just add the key numbers. And that's how it looks in your presentation design. Since August, we are not only better than the competition, but twice as good. And your chart represents that at first glance. I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you haven't watched the other four episodes of our mini-series, I highly recommend to check them out. You'll find lots of useful tips on the five most important building blocks for your presentation. Stay tuned, subscribe for updates and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video.